So tonight on the menu we got lamb cutlets in sage, olive oil, garlic, a touch of rosemary. I'm going to soothe them then. And then I want you guys to tell me exactly what you're going to cook. Oh, look at that. Now let me show you what I'll do. I'm over the cutlet on one side, so you get all the flavor of the meat into the oil. And then on the other side, I'm gonna weld my spinach. So I'm relying on the flavor of the meat to get my spinach absolutely insane. All right, on one side. A little seasoning on the spinach, that's it. And there you have it, my lamb cutlets with spinach, garlic, olive oil, ready for the tea. Okay, so tonight, porcini mushroom with garlic, rosemary, a little bit of thyme, extra virgin olive oil, served with fresh pappardelle. Okay, now we're gonna go with strips of fillet of beef. Just like that. I've added a few more local mushrooms. Mix it up, let it fry off, and we have nearly there. Rule number one when making pasta. Pasta goes straight into the sauce. So then you flavor the pasta before it goes into the dish. Just like that. Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Now I'm gonna show you how to prepare this beautiful piece of beef there. I'm marinated with chili, garlic, a little bit of fresh rosemary. Now the secret is very simple. First of all, hot griddle pan. Make sure that it's hot because you really want to, this is what you want to hear. Look, because we're gonna seal it. Listen to that. Okay, very important. Whenever you cook meat, never season the meat at the beginning because otherwise what's gonna happen? you're gonna drain the moisture from the meat, okay? So season at the end. Okay, I'm gonna give you another tip now. Whenever you cook meat, don't move it too much. You only turn it once. Look at this. Ready? Job done. Okay, this is exactly what you want. Straight into the tray, cover with foil, in the oven, 220 degrees, 20 minutes. Okay guys, so tonight is burgers time. Uh, let me show you the way I do it. Very simple, toasted bun, you have to do it. I put a little bit of English mustard, then I put a bit of mayonnaise and just crispy lettuce on top, that's it. Then, all my burgers, which I make them with. 